Hi, Kit. Um, it's Rachel here. Um, for this video, I'm going to discuss uh, pictures of silver. Um, uh, one of the novels I put up about a month ago, I would think. Uh, Pictures of Silver was actually the very first novel I wrote. I wrote it when I was 21. Um, that was quite a few years now. I'm almost 33. Um, <laughs> so, now as I think back, I think, um, okay, first before I go there, let me in introduce you to Devin, the main character of um, Pictures of Silver. Devin, when the novel starts out, Devin is a playboy, um, a church playboy who just goes to church to play with women until, until one day after church he meets Jessica and that starts a uh, chain of events that changes his whole life. He eventually comes to Christ and after he does come to Christ, um, him and Jessica get more serious and there's some ex-girlfriend drama in there and it's, and it's all good. And it's basically about how um, words are significant. The title, Pictures of Silver, actually comes from um, a book in the Bible, not a book in the Bible, a verse in the Bible in Proverbs which says, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. Um, um, years ago, um, a pastor very valuable to me, I um, I sent him an email and he sent me, um, this email back. He said, um, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. They're very valuable to me. So I, so I, that affected me so much that I incorporated it into the title. And the themes of Pictures of Silver is basically um, s sexual purity and just, uh, just um, being open to what God has planned and uh, knowing that what e whatever turn he takes us through in life, he has um, a plan for us because there comes a point in the novel, not to give too much away, um, where Jessica and Devin have to make a decision. And at that time, that decision seems like a disaster, but it turns out um, through, that, the, through that decision, they started programming that program ends up changing lives and so I basically wrote it because I like I grew like as I said in my video where I introduced myself I grew up in the in the um, black evangelical church so I saw a lot of this not a lot of this but I heard about a lot of this about men coming to church to play with women and then I then I thought it would be an interesting uh, backdrop for a story so when you come to this novel um because I got a comment on one of my reviews like the grandma needs some work and whatever it's it's not that um, Pictures of Silver, at the beginning at least, is meant to be urban. Devon, Devon is African, Canadian, American, um, black in other words. So, 
I try to make the language in Pictures of Silver fit his character, so um, that's why you would see some of the funny grammar and all that stuff, because he's Hood, and as you go through the novel, his grammar changes. Uh, what else can I say about Pictures of Silver? Um, Pictures of Silver, um, chapter 7 was the hardest chapter for me to write just because of the content and because of the emotion in it. And I, as a writer, um, love to deal with hard issues, hard stuff. Love to talk about things that people don't usually talk about in or outside of the church. And, and chapter 7 is one of those chapters um, where it really delves into some hard stuff. And that chapter was the hardest to write. It was the hardest to write, but also it was the easiest to write. It was hard because of all the emotion, but I literally sat down one afternoon when I was in the middle of writing pictures. Um, and this chapter just flowed out. So it was hard emotionally to write because of all the emotion it took for me to go to the places where I had to go to write this novel. But it was easy because it flowed well. And I find that sometimes as a writer that sometimes chapters are easy because they flow well but they're hard emotionally to write because me I get so connected to the, these characters they seem like real people to me um, and so I think that's about it for Pictures of Silver I hope you enjoy it Bye.